Today, I'm gonna tell you a story of the Great Piggy Merm War. Back in the ancient times of 2021, a great war waged between the pigs and the merms. What the heck is it? Oh my god, that's a lot of piggies! Friends, help me! Quick! The piggies! The piggies are attacking! Quick! Ah, oh, shooty McTootie at the ground, numbered boys! Quick! Oh, good! It's <laughs> so many hits! Yo, nice belt, my dude. Guys, please, you've been chasing me for the best part of two minutes. Can you please just get off me? They have a mug for his heads on sticks over here. This disgraceful pig king. I've breached the enemy lines. Help steal their carrots. Everyone, over here. This is the last of their forces. Don't let them escape. Aha. <laughs> Cooked piggy. Well, we have done it. We have succeeded. My young naive self looked over the battlefield and thought we had succeeded. We were naive to think that we had won. What we had not foreseen cost us our kingdom. It was something. Wait, do you hear boss music? No, it's the Merm Blender 3000! Oh no! Our informants at the Piggy Army told us about the creation of this, but I didn't think it was ready yet. Oh no, our Merm Army's gonna fall! They've torn through our houses! King, quick, help us! Oh no, he initiated blending mode again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey man, you want some dragon pie? Yum, 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 yum. Oh no, the blender is at it again! Maybe, maybe I can be the one to take it down. Oh, that was a mistake. Run, my Merm friend, run! Oh no! Jeffrey! The destruction was unmatched, and if that wasn't enough, what came next absolutely devastated the kingdom. King, summon your elite soldiers quick! He's the blender's coming! No, the king has fallen! With the battle lost, I ran deep into the night. Until one day, I can rebuild our former glory. Prepare yourselves. Yes. That's right, it's Merm kill time. Uh, now, for the first part of the video, you might hear me in the background. That's because I accidentally forgot to separate the audio tracks between mic and game uh, while I was recording. Oops, sorry. Real quick, in my all character review guide, Mr. Guile helped me review my script, so, and I forgot to shout him out in that video. Oops. So, a uh, link to his YouTube channel is in the description, and thanks for reviewing my script. Anyway, day one the grass, and twigs, and flint, and then heck and gold. Now, what does Wirt do? Wirt is a vegetarian. She's also a merm, and she can build merm structures. More specifically, the merm king and the merm warriors. These warriors are pretty damn strong, they hit for 50 damage and have 600 health. But because I am a merm, pigs in fact do hate me. Now this is unacceptable, so we're gonna steal their homes and hopefully make them go extinct. Who knows? I'm sorry Spider-Man, I do require silk also. Alright, let's get science. We're making the basic stuff. Hand bat, football helmet, lantern, uh, crock bottoms. We have uh, charcoal, minor hat at some point when I get fireflies. I don't remember when I get them. And of course, gonna make Smokey the Bear very sad. Wow, is that a living log tree? Yes, please. My living logs now. We will need these for the ruins. Kitty! Oh my goodness, we found a cat! My merm family, I will come back to rescue you from this hell and the tentacles. Something kind of funny is when a merm dies, it drops a fish. You can then use that fish to befriend another merm. So, you know, you could befriend merms out of their friends' fallen corpses. Anyway, right now it's staring at the map because I just found a wormhole that went to the swamp and goes uh, to the moonstone forest. And hey, look, the rook knows. And also a desert kitten. But also in the dragonfly desert that isn't very far away from that before mentioned wormhole, there's another wormhole that go to a different point in the map. And we have acquired Chester. Welcome to the team, Chester. We will be using and abusing you the entire run. Now, we are going to the ruins, but I kind of want some gears now rather than waiting until then. I'm going to commit thievery on these bunnies' lives because we need to make a magic machine. Anyway, speaking of magic machine, time to dig up the, this base with this sick edit that I spent way too much <laughs> time editing. Anyways, there you go. If you wanted to speed run furnishing the base, that's how you do it. going to build a lightning rod because it started raining heavily for some reason, and then I found a gnome. Anyway, crock pots, bam, 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 with a fridge, and the Presta hat it has been made, we use the bunnies to make that, make a, holy moly, I'm going so fast I can't even keep up with it on, in the commentary. After slapping down my farming turf, we're gonna speed run over onto the Lunar Island. Now, luckily for me, I kind of guessed correctly where the Lunar Island was, so all I had to do was sail straight out, and we found it. If you want to learn how to find the Lunar Island, you can go watch my intermediate survival guide. Anyway, from this island, we're gonna be stealing all of the rock fruit bushes we can find, and all of the beached kelp we can find. We're also gonna steal some saplings, because I thought they looked cool. And we'll plant them in the base. Ah, uh, you thought we were leaving? No, no, no. We're gonna go loot 
the archipelago, those little islands around the Lunar Island, because they have extra kelp on them. But I do need quite a bit of kelp. Wait, is this a Malpatrol? What the? I find a Malpatrol spawner on the work run, where I'm not going to actually... Oh, okay, I'm upset. Well, I guess we'll keep that Malpatrol spawner in mind for later. That'll be a boss we'll kill a lot later on. Anyway, we're back home. Let's plant all those stone fruit bushes. These things drop stone fruit, which you can then mine to get actual fruit, but they spoil very fast, so you should only mine the fruit when you actually want it. But that means you can stockpile a bunch of it. And it also grows during winter. Here I'm using my boat to plant kelp in a straight line, then pushing all of that kelp with my boat so that they will stack on top of each other. So rather than me having to go all over the place to pick them, I can pick all of them at one place. That's handy. A boss run would not be complete without getting gloma. Let's fertilize those stone fruit bushes so they start growing and now we're gonna head to the ruins with like not a lot of food. So we're gonna dig up some blue mushrooms that we find on the way. Wow, is that toadstool? No way. And now you finally found the ruins. Didn't actually take that long. Anyway, we just tried beta rook into charging. Because I came down with no gems, I do need to kind of destroy as much as I can. Ooh, a yellow gem. I need to destroy as much as I can so I can actually get the yellow and green gems that I need. I see the path to the Ancient Guardian. Well, hello there. Now, beware, this Ancient Guardian fight was done before he got uh, reworked, so um, just keep that in mind. That's why we're cheesing him. Wow, full sight. Delicious. This. I guess this. Unfortunately, only got one yellow gem, so we made a star cooler staff and no mag, and we're heading back to the surface. Throughout this run, I will be picking and mining stone fruit for food, but I'm not gonna keep pausing every time I do, because I do it so often. Anyway, let's dig up some swamp turf, and we're gonna put this just above our base, because you can only build merm structures on swamp turf. Then we're gonna steal some merms from the swamp to be my friends. Get chopping, boys. We need to clear this entire area for my merm army and the king. Traitors, how dare you leave me? You will pay for your sins. And then I needed the fluffer because uh, winter's coming soon. And I need that for the uh, for the king's throne. Chester, stop being bullied. Pengles to the rescue. All right, beef fluffer, pigskin, and kelp. That's what we need to build the throne. It's a good thing we picked up that kelp earlier. And pigskin, we got that while destroying pig houses earlier. So bam. The royal mat has been created. Now, one of those merms that I stole from the swamp, we just have to get him close to the mat, and then he'll sit on it. Then we have to feed him. And then, once we feed him enough, he turns into the merm king. The king is here. Ah, wait! <laughs> Stupid Mac Tusk, he attacked the king. Yo, Mac Tusk farm, I'm so smart. I absolutely intended all of that. What an idiot, he attacked the merm king, the merm king summoned guards and killed Mac Tusk. I'm so smart. That was absolutely what I intended. Absolutely. You guys do not understand my intellect. Anyway, so we're gonna build one normal merm house next to our king because whenever the king dies, that merm will just replace him, basically. That way I don't have to keep the king alive by constantly feeding him. And now the real grind starts because to build merm guard houses, I need at least one tentacle spot, five planks, and two spears. That's a lot of resources. But good for us, if you give fish to the merm king, he has a small chance to give us a tentacle spot. So that's what we're gonna do. And then once we get more merms, we can have the merms kill each other for more fish, for more technical spots, for more merms. You see the loop. Perfectly calculated. What a tough scan attempt. Now we should remember how close I planted my trees to those lava ponds. That might be good. That might, that might be important later. Anyway, because I'm playing Wurt and I cannot trade with the Pig King, so those frazzled wires I got, I can't use. I've mined out the entire rocky biome of all of its gold because I didn't have any. And to your surprise, I will be using all of this gold by the end of the run to the point that I'll need more. Why did I get all that gold? I forgot. Hello, some antlers, please. Thank you. Oh, I found the full sec. Stupid Mactus keeps harassing me at my base. Now, my merm army hasn't been constructed yet, so we're gonna be fighting claws without merms. But don't worry, in the second winter, we will be using merms. But wait a second, Deerclops is coming! So yeah, uh, I didn't realize but Deerclops was actually coming because, you know, it's the night of day 30. What's up, Clopsy? No, he destroyed my science machine. The base is no more. The science machine destroyed. Thank you for your service, dear Clops. I salute you. I will be taking my logs now. Goodbye.
Well, hello, Chris. I am your dude. This is a very basic fight because I'm basically fighting as Wilson, except I'm a vegetarian. So we're going to do up to five hits, four if you're not too fast, and then dodge. And Chester's going to get set on fire. Oops. While my two kitty cats watch. Make sure you take that Tamo Shatner off, otherwise you're going to stay overheating for far too long. And you can't quite see it, but I have put some marsh turf down next to the claw sack, so I can move slightly faster because we're also moves faster while walking on marsh turf. So that kind of makes up for the fact that I don't have a mag. My emergency healing has been deployed, the Glomagoop. I'm gonna use the pan flute because trying to kite two Krampus without a mag makes me sad. But once they're both dead, the fight continues as normal. That's the only like you have. This is where we either need speed or we're just gonna use Claws' sack to block his uh, pounce attack. Again, you kinda need the two speed bonuses to dodge that, so I'm using the Swamp Turf and the Walking Cane. But otherwise, let's keep going. Stupid mech, just leave me alone. Now let's pick up those logs, right? Oh no, my logs are on fire. No! How did that set fire? What? No, how did that tumbleweed set fire? My logs! I lost quite a few. Yeah, I lost quite a few. How did a. F what? How did a. Can we just pause for a second? Because look. How did a burning tumbleweed get from here? To here. Could someone can someone explain that to me, please? Now let's kill some goats. Wait, wait a minute. Hmm. Sorry, brother. I need your horn. So this is where I see t I started wanting technical spots, and it turns out even though they have a 25% chance to drop some tentacles, I didn't get any. Well, I got like two or three. So I decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. Let's future-proof this little merm area with a flingomatic for summer and build our first few merm fortifications. This will spawn the merm warriors once the merm king is alive. Spring is finally here, and that means that means all merms will start respawning again. Because if you didn't know, in winter merms just don't spawn if they die until winter ends. Anyway, let's feed this merm so we can get. Get a Yippee. Finally gonna plant my grass because I need a lot of rope for all the spears I'm gonna need. Wait, where did this boost come from? Are you trying to attack the Merm King? Oh, I only have like five Merm guards, so trading fish is kind of slow. So I'm gonna take some Merms and have them kill a bunch of tentacles and hopefully get some tentacle spots. Oh, guys, a surprise moose because attack. Uh, my warriors deal with that while I trade with the Merm King. Good job, they killed him pretty fast. Now slay the babies, thank you. Now, each merm house does cost five planks, so I'm gonna get my merms working and get chop me some wood. Because Deer Clops' wood was not enough. Uh oh, the tree guards are coming. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> There's no. so many tree guards and so many merms that I stole from the Good swamp. Season. Finally, I cleared that forest that I planted. The amount of tree guards I got, well, at least it will fuel all the living oaks we'll need for the rest of the run. Damn, I am making this birdcage late, but hey, I need to, I need to transfer some uh, fruits into seeds. Now, we will build our army. Oh, my fruits! Fling a mag to the rescue. Now, since Wurt is a vegetarian, you'd think meat is useless, but you can actually put three eggs and one vegetable in a crock pot to make ratatouille, so this makes it so you're basically treating meat as basically just filler. So it saves you on your vegetables. Kill. Anyway, let's recruit my merm friends and have them decimate all of the moose goose on the planet. Alright, gamers. Kill the moose goose. I will sit back and watch. Alright, none of my warriors have fallen quite yet. Alright. Oh no, that's a lot of babies. Ah! Why are they attacking me? There's too many. 
I guess they die too fast. <laughs> Traitor, how dare you desert me? Death. <laughs> so I planted my wild seeds because I will need to farm at some point during this run. Uh, actually quite a lot because that's my main source of healing. Oh, the fossil fell into the void. I'm sad. So yeah, we're getting fossils because we need, to need that for deep few one for the moonstone event and for few Weaver when we kill him later. Oh, the monks killed each other so I can't erect a new king. <laughs> My army is growing very strong. I plan to have about 30 of these guard merm houses. Anyway, it's day 51, so let's get prepping this moonstone. Building some walls all around it, and some fossils on the front to block anything from getting to the moon star. And my merms are really not having a good time with the local spiders. So I need to go recruit backup. Come my spiders, I mean my merms. Kill the spiders, quick. Now this might look like a mess. It's actually working. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, once the Moonstone event is done, we find a stray tree guard and we kill it. More trees? Oh, I need too much wood. Now, because I have so many merms, I'm just having them kill each other now for fish and then giving the fish to the merm king for technical spots. Smiley face! Wait, do I have two goat hoods? Whoa, that was a very loud airplane outside my house just then. Oh no. Oh no, he's lightning as well. And now it's summer, and uh, man, I haven't really killed a lot of bosses, have I? It really does take a long time to build all these merm houses. Let's get chopping, boys. We're not done yet. We need more merm houses. Oh, good, a tree guard. Kill. These merms aren't too smart, so I'm just paying them with seeds for like a minute or two of work. Pretty good deal. So I went fishing to try my luck, but uh, what a surprise, we didn't get the goggles. So I guess we'll have to go without them. Merm guards make good hound defense, but also make sure you build the flingomatic because um, fire hounds are a thing. Hello new beefalo friend. Bye bye new beefalo friend. And again, and again, and one more time for good measure. So we've acquired a beefalo because we're finally gonna move the shadow pieces. Cause, because we'll be doing them at some point soon, TM. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 beefalo, you're messing everything up. Run. Ant lions attacking. Oh, there's the terrarium. Hmm. Oh, there's the bishop head. Look at that. We're gonna obliterate Ant Lion together. Got him, boys. Already melted a sixth of his HP. Oh, I got hit. Oh, goodness, I got hit again. He's half dead. Ah, oh, he's not even targeting me. What a loser. Ah, oh, he targeted me. Get him, boys. Yeah. It's just them cutting. After putting my stone fruits into stacks of 10, I put them all down on the floor and put a gunpowder on for a light on fire. This is one of the best ways to open up all the rock fruits. Also, set some merm guards on fire. Oops, but like, good thing I had the luxury fan. Time to make some good old ratatouille. Thirty merm guards, I think. Nice. Let's count them. Uh, one, one, two, three, four. Five, ten. Oh, it's like thirty or thirty-two. I don't know. I lost count. No, I require cactus. To make a flower salad, do you know? Did you guys know it heals you for forty health? Feed the Merm King, make sure he's not about to die. Fall in, soldiers, it's time to take on the queen of all the bees. Alrighty, I think we're good. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, I haven't practiced it. Whee, let's go. Kill, quick, you're wasting my loyalty time. Get him, boys. No mercy, just hold him. So I have to be attacking Bee Queen, otherwise they'll just de-aggro too fast. First flower cell has been consumed. She's a quarter dead. <laughs> I'm just holding F, dude. Just ignore the Grummel Bees. Just tank the pain. Flower salad number two consumed. She's nearly half dead. Flower salad number three. Just keep holding F. Tank all the damage. Chomp the flower salads. Oh, goodness. Run away. All right. Get them, boys. She's nearly dead. 
one beekeeper hat down. <laughs> what, was, what was I worried about? It was no problem at all. We can see one warrior has fallen there, but that's it. Hey, okay, all of you uh, start killing each other, please. And finally, the chest zone is complete. It only took an entire year because it is the start of the second autumn now. This is where I'm going to dig up my bushes and put them in a slightly different pan and plant some of the saplings that I got from harvesting all the stone fruit. These saplings won't require fertilization. Anyway, time to prepare for dragonfly. So even though I'm going to use merms, I'm still going to have the wool method just in case things go south and my merms die. Uh, definitely not foreshadowing. So make the... And then start hiring all of my merm guards. And it seems like I may have skimped on some of their payments because you might see during the fight a couple of them leave. I think I'm missing like one or two. Right, let's go. The clock is ticking. I didn't bring a pan flu. Wait a second. I forgot my pan flu. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot my pan flu. One second. Pan flu acquired. Let's resume the fight. Woo! One, two, three. He's gonna get knocked down, surely. Stop setting yourselves on fire. Oh my god, it's not even doing that much damage. And they're killing themselves. Right, gamers, get behind the wall with me. I don't know if they'll even follow me. Will they follow me behind the wall? Or are they going to keep attacking Dragonfly? Okay, you guys can attack Dragonfly. I'm going to stay on this side of the wall. Because I don't want to fight the larvae. Hmm, I don't think this is going to go very smoothly. They are poking Dragonfly. They're still poking him. I think they're fighting over there still. When the larvae are all about to pop, I'll go over there and pan flu. I'm ready for the last larvae to pop. Right, loud. Oh. oh, that was a close one. Get him, mums! Yeah! Coward, he's on his second phase of spawning larvae. Takes me eight hits to kill. Oh no, some of the mums are leaving. This is not good. Oh, the mums, some of the mums are leaving. <laughs> I shouldn't have skimped on their payment. I think it's just my four guards that I fed the vegetable stuff to. They're still hanging around. That failed because I didn't, I should have fed them all vegetable, uh, uh, what's it called? Ratatouille. Because they all left me because I didn't feed them for long enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't get paid enough for this and they just pieced out. So you'd rather make... Yeah, I'd rather make Ratatouille and just feed them that. Oh. We got them, boys. And rare gold as a word mean. Uh, yeah. Ah uh, yes, the spoils. Anyway, with my newfound gems, we're gonna go back to the ruins because I'm gonna make a mag and a second star for the staff. Finally a yellow gem, I'm so happy. And then we're just immediately gonna leave. Now since we're farming a bunch of food now, we're going to need to utilize those bundling wraps we got from uh, unlocking the, the, the recipe from Bee Queen. And do you hear that? Alrighty, Borger, where art thou? Do you know what? You can stay there. I'm going to bring an army of merms to you, okay? Merms win once again. Oh, hello, Bearger. Alright, gamers, uh, go ahead. I forgot they kite pretty well. Oh. Oh my goodness. Not all of them are getting pounded yet. Okay, the first three are died. Oh no. Yo, they got them below half. They're still going. Beardra is distracted by all the food. Oh, more soldiers are falling. I think they might do it. Actually, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, oh, there's only two left. Oh no. Oh goodness. I think they might require help. I want to protect the fish. Well, they got him like pretty far. Bearger, stop eating all of my fish. I want to give that to the Merm King. Ow, I'm bad at the game. Wow, well, they did better than I thought. What? I. What? There he is.
all bosses, including the farming boss. Ah, so good at the game. Oh, look, they're mining with me. Good mums. Look at all these vegetals. It is time for the Shadow Pieces Day 81, so we need to recruit our merm friends before we go and fight. Get out of the way! I need my mag! Get out of the way! So what's the strategy here? The strategy here is I have lots of powerful people. So, I have lots of powerful merms with me. So, we're gonna kill the rook first, then the bishop, then the knight. The knight! Unlike the Rook and the Bishop who have area of effect attacks, the Knight can only ever attack one thing at a time. So when you have lots of things, like lots of Merms, he's not going to be able to kill them all. Oh, you can dodge a level 2 Knight. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, they know him, dude! <laughs> Yo, this is so easy, so easy. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going for me then. Get him, boys. <laughs> That's so easy. The poor knight is being bullied. Oh, no. Wait, he doesn't. He hasn't even killed one yet. I guess he's spreading his damage out between all of them. That is, that was probably the easiest shadow pieces I've ever done. That wasn't even gimmicky. That was legit. Like, none of them died. That was actually legit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mums, this food is not for you. Time to deconstruct the Mooncaller staff to get that iridescent gem and you know where we're going, right, look, to the archives. I remember to bring a pickaxe, and I don't need one. When I forget a pickaxe, I do need one. Wait, which one, do I, which one do I need? Do I need the blue knowledge? I forget. Hell on earth. Trusting chat. Oh, trusting chat was the right idea. Nice. Well. So, Barrature. Claws, Bee Queen, Dragonfly, Muscus, and Deerclops. Yeah, I think that's about all of them. And now it's time to start following the Astral Detector to find the hidden altar pieces. The red hounds are very red, I must say. So it, it's pretty good. I heard a cat. I heard a cat. Where are you hiding, kitty? No hiding from Jakey. I don't see any tails. I definitely heard something. I don't think I'm going crazy. Kitty! Kitty acquired. And then I can... Okay, so I'm guessing that one will work. Bet. Buffalo! Shook your saddle off into the ocean. This behavior will not go unpunished, mister. Oh, let's get a salt box while we're here. Uh, and so if you're like fighting her as she's just about to swap spawns, then she'll despawn. Wait, what? Why did you attack the beefalo? What? Oh, it's because it's in heat. Oh, uh, sorry, beefalo. It randomly went in heat, so I have to kill it now. This behavior will not go unpunished, mister. Shame. Oh, it might be too fast. Oh. You remember when your boats used to be like glass? If you tapped into anything, a massive geyser of water would blast through your boat. I remember those days. Give you. Am I about to learn something new? I didn't realize you could destroy them, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. So, box acquired. This makes it so my raw fruits and vegetables and meat will take way longer to expire. Exactly four times. They won't know what hit them. All right, boys, get ready to charge in. I'll re- <laughs> It's gonna be so stupid. No, Wait. Wait, where's the terrarium? Wait, hold on, I've misplaced the terrarium. Uh, uh. Oh, there it is. Get them, boy, attack. Yeah. Murder the piggies. Hey, ah, they're attacking me! Save me! Ah. Is that one pig man down? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Quick! Ah, my armor! 
save me. Yes, my mum friends, we did it. Alrighty. Oh. Right, boys, no mercy. This pig village must be massacred. Hi. Ah, I've been punched. Get him, boys. Ah, uh, ah, uh, kill it's each other. Wait, why are you running around? Oh, right, the Mac Tusk. Hello, Mac Tusk. Stupid Mac Tusk. How dare you attack the Pig King? Okay, um, I kind of need another th th full sick crown, please. All right, let's go, boys. Ah. All right, blue first. Get him, boys. So, like, the Merlin guards. Oh wait, I was meant to put them to sleep. Whatever, we're fighting two at a time. No mercy. Like, I don't think they'll die that easily. Because they dodge quite well. Okay, never mind. Maybe they do die quite easily. <laughs> they, everything's fine. No, dude, they, they're dodging and they're kind of... It's kind of working, right? Oh, no. I mean, it's a mess, but, like, it's fine, right? I think it's fine. Dude, this is not bad. They're not, like, all immediately dead. Because they're, like, relatively tanky. Oh, I'm not relatively tanky. Hold on. All right, get them, boys. Yo, there's so many still alive. This is legit! Oh! You could do a better job at leading them so that the twin doesn't actually hit the merms. The other twin might be click killing Glomma right now. Yo! We actually killed the first twin. Wait, where's the other twin gone? Is he like killing Chester? Number two? Oh, there you are. Spawning lots of minions. Can you come this way, please? Oh no, all of my merm boys are dead. Okay, uh, let's make them attack the Merm King, and then I will win. Ah, uh, uh, if I can bait him into hitting the Merm King, that'd be kind of funny. Reds. Okay, it's daytime. Off they go. That was not bad. I mean, all my Merms are dead, but we got. <laughs> we. <laughs> that was legit. They helped and killed an entire twin. Now that they're still on it, I'm gonna hit the the minions. Honestly, they're super good against the red twin, I feel. Because it doesn't dash that often. And I can just take care of the minions. And it's just when he dashes, I have to kind of bait him away from the merms. Otherwise, they're sad. But yeah, he, he always prioritizes dashing towards me. So I can really easily bait him away from the merms. Which is really good. Oh no, Chester died! <laughs> I'm sorry, Chester. I didn't realize you took that much damage. No, oh, my sticks. Oh, uh, goodness me. What a disaster. My sticks. Eyebrella. Eyebrella can't burn, so it's okay. It was only like a little bit of twigs and grass that would have burned. Oh. Yeah, we did it. So, like, surprisingly, mom guards are actually kind of sick. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised. Like, pretty surprised. Mm. Guys, I'm starting to get cold. I need to warm up a little. Wait, what? I thought that detonated. Huh? Did they change this trap? Whatever. Back in my day, that's what I did. Ah, yes. Hiya! Attack, boys. Don't push me to. What the? Merms just take, made me take a face full of damage because they pushed me towards. Wait, why are they attacking the deer? Wait, are they? I think they are attacking the deer. I didn't tell you to do that. Uh, Claws isn't enraged yet. Everything's fine. He won't become enraged. No, no, no. This is very messy, though. Alright, made it to phase two. Wait, I just commanded them to attack a deer by accident. No, they attacked the deer. <laughs> Oops. Alright, boys, well, kill, kill enraged claws, okay? Oh, wait, half of them are running away. Yep, kill enraged claws, boys. Feed them more fish. This is what you did this, boys. I did not. This is your fault. So you have to finish the job. Oh, uh, well. There go all of my mum friends. Well, we tried, boys, and that's what matters, right? For p participating. As you can see, that was a failed attempt. So I'm just gonna hop into a test world to show you how you should actually kill claws with merms, and you kind of have to cheese him. So, as you can see, I have a bunch of merms that I've recruited. I put them to sleep so that they don't get hit by any deers. Then you have to set up fossils like I have here, and you lead claws through the middle of the fossils, and the deer will get stuck, like so. Perfect. And 
now we win. So that's how you do it. Now, uh, I will cut to the bit where I made a mistake. Once he enters the second phase, he starts jumping, and if you make him jump too far away from his deer, he will become enraged. So make sure you don't keep him too far away. Keep, keep him within like seven tiles radius of his deer, otherwise this will happen. Oh wait, what? Oh, he got too far away. Okay, he got a little too far away, but uh, that's okay. He's only got 6,000 health lost, boys. We, we got this. Only 6,000 health left. Great example. See, enraged claws, no problem. And now kill the deer for getting too far away. Hiya! Hello, Pearl. I heard you wanted some tasks. Done. You know, I need some emergency stool sites, so I'm gonna deconstruct this stool site suit real quick. And then head back to the ruins and avoid monkeys and start freezing, oh. then get stuck and get hit Do by I have, monkeys! Oh, I have loads of green gems in here. Cool. Just make two of those. And I'll use the remains to make one more crown. Okay. The main reason we went to the ruins is to grab a construction amulet or two, so now I can make nine weather panes, which should be enough for the rest of the run. And I did this because I didn't have a lot of down feathers, so I needed to use construction amulets, so I only used five per weather pane, not ten. Walls. Well, hello, Toadstool. We're just gonna set up some Star Crawler staffs and start the fight. So, yeah, this is why we need the uh, weather bone paints, by the way, because this fight is agonizingly, uh, agonizingly long. So, let's explain this fight while I, until I, until we start skipping through it. So, he has about 50,000 HP, which just means the fight just takes forever. And so, he never actually tries to attack you directly. Instead, he summons boom shrooms, which you just have to dodge once they explode, otherwise, they hit pretty hard. And then sometimes he'll put a spore bomb on top of you. This spore bomb, it'll, it'll form like a poison cloud and do damage over time and it spoils food in your inventory but you can just like avoid it as you can see i step back before it explodes and let it explode away from toadstool so i still have room to fight him skipping ahead we've got through the first phase and i'm using a strat here when i'm getting toadstool stuck behind a pond because in when he third, starts yeah. spawning his trees he wants to return back to the center of the arena so if you block him from so doing that uh, he, he like walks into the pond for longer so you get more time to get to do some free damage but anyway these trees this is what you need the weather pains for if you don't knock down these trees he gains a ridiculous amount of damage reduction which means that you just can't damage him he gets like, up to 99 percent damage reduction Finally, we bombed him down to one third HP, but the fight is not over yet because now he has a stomp attack, which, uh, you know, usually he combos this with his boom shroom attack. So if you don't dodge it, you get hit like for quite a few hundreds of damage. Yeah, something like that. He was walking back to the center. I think he's bugged. Oh, it's because he sees the slow. He was walking back to the center and then just turned around and hit me because I thought he was going to spawn trees. So I didn't think he was going to stomp. But it's because he was targeting the slow. How many weather panes was that? One, two, three, four. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half? Oh, Deerclops wants to come. I see. He immediately woke up some tree guards. Well, I guess we'll stick around. Uh oh. Goodbye, Deerclops. You have been taken by the forest. My uh, hello, Pro. Have a jacket. Thank you. And uh, a Kobume. Beautiful. Oh, 285. Use. Good. And then we start fishing to try spawn Malbdross, and you know, unsurprisingly, we couldn't spawn Malbdross, so we'll come back later. But now let's gather some cactus. There. Get them, boys. Ooh. Kill the babies. I have terrible hit one of them and aggro the merms. Like that. Now we just sit back and watch. Oh no. Oh no, he attacks the king. Oh no. Silly Eye of Terror. Oops. Goodbye, Eye of Terror. Did the king just die? Oh no. Absolute success. Once again, using Egos to make Ratatouille. Spawn Malbatross, and if we don't get it, then that's unfortunate. Oh no, he got stuck. 
Get, get back. Okay, whatever. I'm leaving one behind. Back to fishing and you know she didn't spawn. So let's paddle on over to the other fishing spot. Oh my goodness, my albatross is there. Yeah! Be quiet, smooth jazz. Alright, need to put down anchor. Hello, my albatross. Hit my worms, please. Yes. My albatross, get back here. Get, get a mums. I'm just gonna sit, sit back and do nothing. Okay, maybe I, I do this. Commands to attack. Where'd you go? Get, get back here. What are you doing? Wait, you're firing waves from a distance? Wait, I didn't know she did this. Yeah, like, she just pushes me away again. Like, how did they design this boss fight? She's gonna push you away. Do you have to strategically hit the anchor when she's about to hit you? The anchor was down and she still pushed me that far? Oh, she killed all the- <laughs> She killed my men! My men! <laughs> oh my god. I forgot she hits pretty hard. She does like 200 damage per hit or something. Oh, well there go all of my mum friends. Better make a spare at one of these. Don't you dare despawn. Where are you going? Come back. Don't you dare despawn. Whatever, go away, stupid bird. After planting some trees, we're gonna dig up all of my rock root bushes, or at least the ones that are old that I dug up from Lula Island, and we're gonna replace them with the uh, saplings that we got. These way I won't have to uh, fertilize them. And then we got another fruit fly boss. And with these potatoes, we're gonna make go we're gonna make potato garlic puree or something, whatever it's called. It does it heals your sanity and your health and your hunger pretty well. Then using potato seeds, a real cheap payment. We're gonna use our boys to chop down some trees because you know the everlasting thirst for wood. <laughs> So I just need to feed her a flower salad and a cactus flowers for the house now. But before I do that, look at all these tomatoes and dragon fruit. And now becomes the tiring long search to find the atrium. The atrium will be on the other end of one of these tentacle pillars. Oh. Second try is the charm, boys. So hey, that's pretty neat. I actually found out the second one. Imagine getting good luck. Anyway, let's prepare for Ancient Fuel Weaver. And by doing that, we need to go back to the uh, ruins to make a third Lazy Explorer. And then get more gold for the Nightmare Amulet that I can't make because I didn't have enough gold. So you might be wondering, why aren't you, using, why aren't you bringing your mums to the Ancient Fuel Weaver? First of all, they'd be extremely ineffective. As in, they probably wouldn't do anything and die very fast. But also, I would have to build structures down here since I can't bring them down into the caves from the surface. These guys be trying to shoot me over the fence, like, while I'm fighting Fury Weaver. Come here, Mr. Bishop. Come on in. So if you have enough speed bonus, you can actually do two hits, then dodge the Bishop's projectile attack like that. Pretty neat. Is that everything you need for Fury Weaver? I think so. Now, as a character with a default damage modifier, this fight is going to be very tough, but don't worry, I'm going to explain the attacks while we go. So, in this strategy, I'm not going to be tanking Fuel Weaver, at least not intentionally. So whenever he traps me, I have to use the Lazy Explorer to teleport out. Otherwise, this is currently Phase 1. Phase 1, he doesn't have too many attacks. He has his basic melee attack, he can drop bones from the ceiling, and he can trap you in a cage. When he traps you in the cage, we have to teleport out, otherwise everything is dodgeable. And I'm also stepping away right before he summons the cage, because if you're standing too close, he slams the ground and does a little bit of damage. As for equipment, we've got the Magiluminescence to move faster and the Bee Queen Crown to reverse the Fuel Weaver's sanity aura. Even though we have this, we still have extra sanity food. And this will be the same until we hit phase 2 once each of Fuel Weaver drops down to 10,000 HP.
now we have entered phase two. So along with all the other attacks, we now have three more attacks to deal with. So the first attack where he bent down to the ground was he was summoning these shadow hands, which put an invincibility bubble around Agent Fuelweaver, meaning you cannot damage him while those hands are up. And the only way to break those hands is being insane. That's why we have the Nightmare Amulet, so we can temporarily go insane to break the hands, and that'll break his shield. But at the same time, he will summon these Woven Shadows. If one of these Woven Shadows get close to Agent Fuever, he'll bend down and try to eat them, and each one heal him for 400 health, which basically negates over 6 attacks from this character, which is 3 seconds of damage. So if he eats even one healer, it's kind of a big deal. And his last attack, which he won't do as often, is that while you're insane, he will try to mind control with you, and he will succeed if you're insane at the time he tries to mind control you. So all that means you have to keep your sanity up and you have to take off your Nightmare Amulet when he starts to try to mind control you. Now because there are a lot of healers, I am using the Weather Pain if there's too many around HFU with us so I can't just hit them myself. So that's why we have those, otherwise we're going to hit them with the Lazy Explorer to try to preserve our Weather Pains.
targeting. Hello. right in the last second. Targeting, please. Wait, I was standing close to the hand. Kaboom. And out we go. You know, that was probably the hardest fight of the run, but it was went pretty smoothly. Push me into the spikes again. Good job, boys. I'm proud. Now it's summer, and we have to fight Crab King. So to stay cool, but not too cool on the boat, we need another Mooncaller staff. So let's quickly do another Moon event. Queen, kill it, boys. Yo, mums are so good. Kill. Genius. Oh, there's so many. Okay, there's too many. We're getting out of here, boys. Look at that. You can do it with three. Have a have a flower salad. Now give me the pearl. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, I think I farmed too much food, but oh well. Uh, you would, um... Good job, boys. Move out, soldiers! <laughs> Look at this guy. Emotional support man. This is my emotional support man. He definitely, I didn't, def I definitely didn't just use some mums to like, you know, take them on a death mission and this is the only one that survived. No, no, no. Oh, that was a strategic ram actually. Oh yes, he mines with me, I forgot. Yes, multitasking mum. Yes. Warrior versus warrior. Meanwhile, I'm gonna steal the berries. Okay, I think I've grabbed all of them. Okay, so basically, be ready to embrace chaos. This fight is very complex, and the fight goes downhill if you mess up even once. Um, and there's a ton of merms on my boat who are gonna get in the way, so let's explain! So for the first phase, all the Crab King is going to try to do is summon geysers below my boat, which will make it sink. So we have to freeze him to stop that attack. But then he also summons claws. These claws appear on the side of your boat, and because my merms are running around everywhere, they could get in my way to stop me from killing these claws. Why are you attacking Crab King? <laughs> you can kind of hear I got a little upset when the auto-targeting went and done me over. So I have to just... I have to just repair the boat and hope that it doesn't break. Meanwhile, I have to keep freezing the Crab King so that he doesn't freeze my uh, merms or sink the boat. I'm also doing a strategy of something we'll call pre-freezing. That's where I hit the Crab King with five ice stab hits. And that means when he's about to do his attack, I can hit him with the sixth attack to immediately freeze him because it takes six hits to freeze him in total. But the Crab King's freezing attack has a very small windup, meaning I don't have a lot of time to attack. So that's why we're doing the pre-freezing method. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the chaos that is the Crab King fight with Merms.
there was a really, really, really bad point in the fight where there was a claw. There was a claw sat right here. And the, I couldn't get to it because of the merms, so I just had to heal through the pain while freezing it. It was relatively clean, I guess. Get off the boat, everybody. Off the boat. Your date. Oh, are you going to sink? That merm guard looks... Okay, there we go. Yeah, so unfortunately, we have to sit here and watch all of these guys walk home. Otherwise, they'll... If we walk off screen, they'll just, like, like, be unloaded and be stuck here for a while. Well, forever until we come back here. Now, let's haul this thing that we got from Crab King all the way to Lunar Island. Save me from the bees! Anything but the bees! No fear. Oh, I do have fear now. There are too many bees. Can I- Can you- oh! Why did he have to spawn the, the, the thing, the stupid moonstorms in the very narrow corridor of map so there's no escape from the storm? So that I can see. Thanks. Ooh. Chow down on some- Hello, Wagman. I'm here to play your game to summon the final boss. This involves grabbing flying bug things and mining some crystals. Done! Yeah! Yeah. boys. Good job. It's done. It's done. Oh wait, I still need a smidge more of this. No, I needed some of that. Okay, so now we have the materials to spawn the last boss. I just need all the food and like the, you know, the shadow chester and the armor and the weapons and the merms. He's aiming for the beehive, but he's kind of keeps missing. Berger, I think. Do you need help, buddy o pal? Wasn't that fun. Berger, I'm not gonna kill you yet. Here, have some cactus and you can hang out with the bees. Kaboom! Wow! The Ratatouille has been created. There is no more left to be done. We have 90, wait, hold on. We, oh, we need to go 100. Oof. Hold on, we can make it 100. Hold on, we got this. The free Shavakadoos have made us the Ratatouilles. One, two, three. 100 Ratatouilles. Make that 101 because I can't count. How many of these can I feed you? I can feed them three, nice. Pause. I think, I think we just recruited all of them. I only gave one of, I, one of them I gave only one Ratatouille, but that's fine. I've recruited, recruited every merm that has made it into this point. Get in, loser, we're going to Celestial Champion, woo! Oh, my kitties, they fall into the ocean. No! Kitties! Jump further, my kitties. Oh, goodness, they're flying. <laughs> oh, they might drown. Oh, no, the humanity! <gasps> My soldiers, step back, please. Ah! Prepare yourselves! The moment has arisen, my soldiers! No faltering, no... Mercy kill! Oh, one of my soldiers have already died, but it's okay. Celestial Champion is close to dying. They're surely going to be forced at this phase. Foolish! My merms are unaffected by this attack. What an idiot! Okay, hold on. He put some of them to sleep. That's okay. Quick, put it back into that, that mode. Yes! My merms! Stun lock him! Yes! My merms are too strong! Ah! Uh, <laughs> We're too good! Keep him stun locked! We will make it to phase two! Yeah! <laughs> Wait. I think we have him like stun locked. Oh wait, he's letting the attack out. Unacceptable. Stop going to sleep, my soldiers. We will force him to phase two. Break through his shield. Yes. Good job, comrades. But now, okay, so I'm not gonna aggro them initially because he starts with the spin attack. Right, my merm friends, you need to run. Oh, they might go caught up. Oh, oh, they're so close. Yes, all right. Do, do, do. Get him, boys. Uh-oh. 
Oh, okay, they're going the other way. That works. That's fine. Only like a fifth of them died. It's going well. It's going well. Uh oh. Only like two of them died. This is going very well. Dude, the spin attack. Yo, Celestial Champion is stupid. He keeps spinning the wrong way and he only hits like two of them. Oh my god, no. Yo! My god's made it to phase three! We only have like uh, six left, but like out of 30, so you know, that's 20% left, not, not bad. Oh my god, my god's are fooling. Oh no, now they're asleep. Oh, okay, well, all the guards are dead now. Wait, there's one left! My hero! Yes! Yes! My lone survivor! Wait, no, he died! No! I didn't. Ooh, a hound attack. Oops, didn't step back far enough. Celestial champion, save me! Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, hound assist. And horror hound assist. Yes, horror hound assist. Woo! Oh, the hounds didn't do a lot of damage. Oh, I'm sleeping. Good night. Oh, not anymore. Celestial Champion. You sent in the gnaw, we retaliated with my merm army, and now look at you, being taken away by Waggle Staff. Ah uh, ha uh, uh. Woo! Oh. That was a really short, um, uh, entire night of darkness. Mm. Thank you, my soldiers. Your sacrifice was not in vain. I salute you from the- to the afterlife. We defeated the Celestial Champion and every boss! With were and friends, we must go pay respects to the work king. I mean the merm king. Woo! Uh -huh. Crown acquired. Oh. Ah! What the? What the? Traitor! Ca no cowards allowed in my army. Captain! We're coming in too fast! Oh no! You serve me well, your highness. Uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, wait, uh. There is only one thing left to do. Oh, oops. Oh, I destroyed some houses. Uh, oops. The only right way to finish a boss run. Oh no, a tree guard. Oh no, two tree guards. No, you're ruining my plans. on dragon pies my comrades and just like that today we have learned how to grief a base properly this used to be a nice productive base and look what we turned it into in a matter of seconds there it is 
Now we get to Wurt's updated ratings. Now that we've done a whole boss run with her, we can rate her slightly more accurately than we did for my all character guide. So in that guide, I rated her a 5 out of 10 for survivability, 6 out of 10 for utility, and 5 out of 10 for combat. Now for survivability, you're basically Wilson until you get the Merm King, until you get increased stats. But at the same time, Wilson can eat meat dishes, which are pretty good, Wurt can't. Therefore, we're going to leave the survivability at 5. Wurt is one of the better wood choppers when it comes to gathering logs, since she can dig up tree stumps and pick up logs while all of her merm guards chop down trees. They can also mine, act as hound defense, etc. So we're going to put her utility to actually 7.5 out of 10. I originally rated Wurt's combat at 5 out of 10, but from this guide, it takes about half a year to one year to set up like 30 merm guard houses. But once you have that, like a lot of the bosses you can you can use merm guards with and they'll survive for like half the fight. Like Celestial Champion, I didn't think they would last until the last phase. Assuming that you're using merm guards, I'm going to rate a 7.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching. Be sure to comment uh, which uh, character you want to see next. Although I think the Wolfgang re-rework is happening soon. So I'll probably do that one next. But then after that, I'll do whatever you say. So yeah, comment. Uh, let me know how you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching.